Safe guys, for uh, I got my glass of wine. Let's do this. We're doing it, baby. We're doing it. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. They call him Mr. Paul. Did, did I flash the name up there? It's Mr. Paul in the grille. Like, what the fuck is a grille? It's it. Is it a grill or a grille? I think grille in German means cricket. Uh, you know, those those big black crickets with the horns that stick up the <laughs> burl down into your carpet or whatever the fuck they have on the floors there in Germany. I don't know if they... Do they have carpets in, or is it all hardwood? I think it's... I think Germany's more of a hardwood place. <laughs> France's carpets, I know, because they are, you know, those French guys, they like to walk around barefoot with their, you know, le batons, le croissants, le pomme de terre, and all that shit. But uh, we missed the beginning there. Mr. Paul is a very good player. He rushed. He's in a TD, but he's not a camping player. He rushed to the middle and tried to take a quick, cheeky shot. But, of course, the object. 140 the little the russian guy snapshot at him in two seconds and the german guy with the most accurate gun in the game got fucked because it's german right the russian guy got him so now he's you know tail between the legs and uh, run away so so far he's done fuck all but uh, just a second here There's no coffee today it's uh red vino as they say in italy yeah but i like to slurp it I like to slurp it down, baby! Oh, wait a minute. That came out wrong. There ain't no slurping down, if you know what I mean. This could be going sideways quick here. Okay, he's aiming. I don't even know why I do these videos. You know? Like, whoa, whoa. I, you know, I don't make any money doing this shit. Every day, there's another game. Look, there's a fucking guy pinging there. Ping, 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 ping. It's, there's a map pinger. That's annoying, right? There's so many fucking things that are annoying and I do this every fucking day for you. Rain or shine, like the postman. Unless, you know, well, there's there are those postmen that get the AK-47s and kill everyone. But, I mean, like the good postmen, the ones that deliver the mail. Rain or shine or sleet or hail, uh, no matter where you are, the postman will come and, um, and, uh, ooh, that was a good shot. Okay, okay. Things are going sideways here. Now, Mr. Paul, in case you don't know, I've had the pleasure of playing with Mr. Paul a couple times, and, uh, he is a very good player. He's very patient, and he's probably the most polite guy. Oh, let's, oh, oh, he got hit a couple. I was going to say let's watch this shot, but he got hit a couple of times. Who? What was I saying? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Paul is hes a very good player, and he is probably uh, the most polite and uh, most gentlemanly player that I have ever played. I mean, I've played with a lot of fucking assholes. And, and it's because of the, you know, the YouTube... And the job and the commentary and, you know, I get messages and people, oh, are you the real Klaus? You know, you're, you're, you're ready to launch a game and you get three messages in your garage. And one of them says, uh, are you the real Klaus? And another one says, hey. And then another one is a smiley face. And so I reply to the guy that says, are you the real Klaus? And I say, yeah, of course I'm the fucking real Klaus. And Klaus Kellerman. Who the hell else has that name in World of Tanks? And uh, can I platoon with you? a couple of games and I you know I say sure and then I quickly check his you know he's a he's a 1100 PR with 7000 battles and his highest tank is the Matilda tier 4 so I gotta go out and fucking get a tier 4 tank which I never play and play a few games right and uh, then realize that he what he likes to do is 
is to drive his Matilda to A1 and hide in the corner all game. But, you know, I do it because I'm a nice guy. That's why. And I wasn't implying that that guy that, I, that did that was a fucking asshole. That's not what I was implying. I mean, what I'm saying is that there's all kinds. But uh, Mr. Paul here, if I'm not, uh, if the story's not uh, uh, perambulating its way uh, properly, uh, what I'm trying to say is that Mr. Paul here not only is a good player, but he is a gentleman. And uh, I don't think I've ever, uh, in the replays that he sent or the games I've played with him, you know, I rage. <laughs> Sometimes when the shit starts happening and, you know, you're fucking losing a game or you get trolled, I sometimes lose it and rage. But Mr. Paul has, I've never seen him ping the map. I've never seen him, you know, uh, rage at someone or, or, or say something. I, I don't even know if the guy gets excited. Actually, I don't really know the guy. I just know that he seems like a gentleman. And we're watching the game here in his Grillet. Fucking cricket tank. What the hell does Grillet mean? Someone leave it in the comments and I promise next uh, video I show about the Grillet, uh, I'll know what it means in German. I think it means it's either a cricket or a bed bug. Uh, one or the other. It's one of those black insects with the, with the horns. But... Um, uh, there's a game going. On. Yeah, okay. So look at this. He's uh he's all over the map. Now this is why this guy's good. I mean, he's part of a clan, the villain clan. Holy shit, they might be watching this and might get a lot of them unsubscribing because I don't I won't blame you if you unsubscribe after this video, but who the hell needs you? I didn't mean that. I need you. I need you. I need you. Oh, don't, please. Please don't unsubscribe. Fuck off. Let's watch him here. Oh, that, I love the sound of that gun. And uh, there's a... Okay. Coffee has one effect. Wine has a different effect. Why do people drink? Like, what? you know, what's the fascination with drinking? Is it to smother and subdue the patheticness and hopelessness of life? Some people would nod yes. Others would say no, because they like to get the buzz, right? Have a couple of drinks, relax. I don't think Mr. Paul is ever buzzed when he plays. Sometimes Mr. Kellerman is. But uh, let's concentrate on Mr. Paul here, because enough of the shenanigans. I have no idea. Usually when I do a video for you guys, I got to tell you. Oh, wait. He's going to get that guy back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was good. I like to see that. Um, <clears throat> when I do a video for you guys, like, I don't, I'm not like some, you know, I don't re-record. I don't, uh, like, oh, I made a mistake. I pronounced his name wrong. I Let me start over. Fuck that, right? Or, oh, I accidentally insulted everyone that lives east of uh, Afghanistan. Like, I don't care, right? Uh sometimes things come out is not exactly you know the the best way and i don't record re-record anything and i usually have no fucking clue what i'm going to talk about before i start a video i just start and it just starts going and as the game some you know it's the same thing as the game uh sometimes takes twists and turns as the country road that you drive down sometimes arrives at a fork, and if you take the left fork, uh, you end up at the nice uh, farmhouse where the farmer and his three beautiful blonde daughters invite you in uh, because your car is in need of repair and you need a place to stay. And he says you can sleep in the hayloft, and you go in the hayloft, and then the three beautiful blonde daughters bring you some food and pillows and one of them soaks your feet in a nice bubble bath you know that there's that fork or you take the right fork and eventually the road the grade goes down and you get stuck in the swamp so it could go either way you know you see you understand what i'm trying to say so the commentary when i start could uh, 
go to the left and and you could see the nice beautiful barn as as the sun is coming up and you could be ready to you know relax in the hayloft and one of the triplets they're triplets by the way they're not just three daughters they're triplets blonde one of them rubs your back because you had such a hard day the other one pre prepares you some some wine and cheese and the other one soaks your feet in the warm bubble bath sometimes it goes that way and everything is copacetic and life is wonderful but sometimes it veers off to the right and for no fucking uh, reason without any warning you're stuck in the mud in the swamp and uh, so what we got here in this video is i think we've we've taken a right turn and uh <laughs> we're getting pretty deep uh the the wheels are spinning and we're in the swamp here and we're kind of stuck mm -hmm. and this was uh it's probably the worst uh, place to do it here with mr paul who is such a gentleman and so such a good player and i've picked this particular video to veer off to the right and it's, it's all gone to shit so let's concentrate here enough of that was the intro now we're going to get into the gameplay what do we got what's going on here this is why i picked this game and mr paul and the other guy there's a leopard the two germans if you've been reading, like while I've been babbling about who knows what the fuck I've been babbling about, while I've been doing that, if you've been watching the game and reading the chat, you'll notice that these two guys are actually using, these guys took, they went left, <laughs> right? They took a left. They're actually talking to each other. They've got strategy. Uh, they're both going up to the hayloft and they're going to have an epic game. You know, they're going to have the wine and cheese delivered. They're going to have uh well, you know what they're going to have. And uh, the old Kellerman here is stuck in the mud talking about it. But watch this. They're talking. They're, they're spotting. The leopard has spotted someone. And now it's up to Mr. Paul. This is called teamwork, right? Look at this. He's slowly, he's, he's poking. And he's, oh, oh I'm not going to ruin this by, you know, inserting ridiculous commentary. Let's just watch. He's, he's got to make this shot count. Is he going to shoot? He, he knows that he's spotted. The leopard spotted him. This is called... Come on, shoot. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His name is Mr. Paul. Is the game over? Oh, crap. i got to keep talking. You know, I, I don't have to actually talk during these replays. I could... Uh, I could just, uh, you know, read a book while you watch, and then at the end, just... Oh, wait! Here it comes. They've taken a right turn. They've found the barn. The farmer has invited them in. Right? They're going to the hayloft. It's right about now that they realize that this farmer has three daughters, triplets. Eh? Eh? And then they're going to make his and their stay worthwhile. Look at this. Look at that. Teamwork. The two Germans on top. And uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I have no idea what this, yeah. I have no idea what that video was about, but that, that's your video for today. And uh, yeah, I'll just finish my wine here. And uh, you can carry on and do whatever. You know. Go watch something else now. Don't come following me around. <laughs>